we just have confirmed the man who was killed in this crash sadly is 75 year old Robert Lofink of Gibsonia. We're told an autopsy is going to be performed by the medical examiner in the morning. And we've also learned the driver of that pickup truck is going to face charges for causing an accident that involves death and also driving without a license or insurance for that fact. And those passengers are speaking out to Pittsburgh's Action News 4. They tell us uh, they are roofing workers who are doing some work in the area. They were on their way to drop off some roofing debris at a landfill today. And they say they didn't even realize a tire had come off of the trailer until they reached their destination. A blue tarp covered the car for hours. Northbound Route 28 shut down just as long. Police say a tire came off of a trailer being hauled by this pickup truck headed south. It flew across the median and smashed through the windshield of the car, which was traveling north. The man driving the car was killed. A second person in the car was not injured. Police were searching for the truck for a short time and later found it along Route 28. The driver of the truck, who passengers identified as Eddie Gonzalez, was handcuffed and taken into custody for police questioning, likely including about why he initially left the accident scene. Investigators spent hours marking evidence and searching along the highway for the tire. The crash caused huge traffic delays. In fact, the man's body remained in the car at the scene for much of the afternoon because even staff from the medical examiner's office had difficulty reaching the area because of the backups. And those backups were huge today. I mean, obviously, this crash happening this morning and that uh, part of Route 28 northbound wasn't reopened until later in the afternoon. Several hours of closure happening there. Police say that pickup truck driver's full name is Eric Gonzalez Huerta. He is currently being held in the Allegheny County Jail. Live in Point Breeze, outside of County Police Headquarters, I'm Matt Belanger, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.